Hey y'all, it's Dottie. How are ya? This video will be in response to the Fat Loss Week 2 theme, which is to remember why you're on this weight loss journey. And, uh, I guess one of the simple reasons is for better health and to lose the weight. I mean, that's a given, really. But my struggle and my journey, I think, technically began a long time ago um, when my mom first started experiencing issues from obesity. Um, sorry. I, the only problem then was um, I had to deal with the emotional and mental issues before the weight loss would happen. I think that's why um, I failed so many times with losing the weight because I hadn't dealt with the emotional aspects. So I actually started seeing a counselor, this was years ago. Um, I've gone through a lot, I must say, but anyway. Counseling helped, and uh, I moved forward. Anyway, my mom's health deteriorated more and more. Her leg, her left leg had a huge growth on the back of it. I mean, that leg alone probably weighed 100 pounds. Her weight total was 5-something, probably close to 6. Her legs were just really, really big, and I think she had a problem called lymphedema, which the fluids, the lymph fluids in her legs kind of pulled up. Plus, she was diabetic, although she never told me she was. She kept telling me she was borderline, but I don't know. The lower part of her legs, from like the um, shin down, were purple in color, and she would get these open sores a lot that would ooze fluid and would stink and she'd get infections and she had to be in the hospital a few times. She suffered MRSA um, and she, it just kept getting her down. It kept getting her more and more depressed. She was supposed to start counseling and she didn't follow through. That was back when she could walk. Got to a point where she got so bad that she just she had a hospital bed in her living room and she would not go anywhere despite anything I said like I offered to help try to get her a scooter chair something that she could get out and about and see her grandkids at activities I thought her grandkids would you know help motivate to get her out and about but it didn't seem to so she stayed in the house she never went anywhere she couldn't she couldn't, um, she couldn't clip her own toenails. She couldn't barely walk at all. She had a, a cane, like a four, had four little legs on her or whatever. And she struggled in the worst way to get out of that bed to go to the bathroom and such. And, um, after a while it got to a point where she couldn't even do that. She ended up in a nursing home for a while, um, and I mean, I, I tried saying a lot of different things, tried helping her, I'd visit her at the nursing home every day, which got draining on me, I mean, it was tough to deal with emotionally, um, but, I don't know, it just didn't seem to, she didn't follow through, even with the therapy within the office there, within the nursing home, um, she just didn't participate, and she wanted to go home, she hated being there, she wanted to go home, wanted to go home, wanted to go home, we finally let her go home, and then, of course, she just got worse, and I remember going over to her house one day, and it smelled of urine because she couldn't get herself out of bed to 
go use the bathroom and my stepdad had to clean up after her and it was horrible for him and they ended up calling an ambulance because she fell or she couldn't get up or something and it took multiple men and stuff to try to get her out of the house and my kids happened to be there to see that and it was tough for them. I just, I feel horrible that they had to see that. Absolutely horrible. So she ended up being put in the hospital.